in order to keep our hearts healthy, just like keeping the body healthy, we have to be mindful of what we're taking in, intake. So I call this the don't sip poison point. <laughs> um, you know, if a person every morning, for, along with their very healthy breakfast, is just sipping a couple sips of poison, right? Or maybe with their lunch, with each meal, just a, it's only a couple sips. What's going to happen to that person over time? Well, it doesn't take a doctor to know. You're going to be killing yourself, literally, right? Because you're sipping on poison. Now, sometimes we do this to ourselves spiritually and psychologically by the kinds of things we surround ourselves with, all right? When we surround ourselves with a lot of negativity, when we surround ourselves with things that are not healthy for us, for example, there are things on social media that are not necessarily healthy psychologically, they're not healthy spiritually. It's a little bit like sipping poison. So keeping your environment healthy as much as you can, that's a huge part of being healthy internally. Just like you're not going to have poison in your fridge and then expect that you're going to be healthy. Right? That's, that's something you're taking in. So being mindful of what you look at, being mindful of what you're listening to, being mindful of the type of talk, not just self-talk, but what's coming out of your mouth. What's the, what's the kind of, what kind of conversations are you having? Just be mindful of these things. This is all intake into your heart. And so, so be mindful that, you know, your, your news feed on social media, whatever type of social media that is, think of that like your fridge, okay? You open up your fridge, that's what you're going to eat that day. And it's the same thing with your news feed. That's what you're going to eat that day, but you're going to eat it spiritually and, and psychologically. Does that make sense? Because everything you read, everything you're exposed to, it's like, it's intake. And that, that all goes in, into the heart. And that affects you. So be, try to maybe make it more healthy. And that's, that's something that you guys can do. And I, I always remind people there's this amazing thing on social media called unfollow. You know? And it's, uh, no one's got to know. That's the beauty of it. Right? I'm serious. Because, um, and I've done this like for my husband and for my, for my friends. It's like, just let me have your news feed. I'll fix it up for you. And, it, and I've just tried to, to help them make it more healthy. And, and, and you know what? They've appreciated that because sometimes people don't know. Like there's algorithms for, for these things. Like Facebook, for example. It's taken me like eight years to get a healthy news feed. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it doesn't actually take eight years. Thank God. Because now they have unfollow and they have all these other things. See first. They have, nowadays, they have like ways to really tailor your news feed to be stuff that's going to be healthy. You know what I mean? Like put that organic food in the fridge. Stuff that's going to be psychologically and spiritually healthy for you to eat because that's what you're eating every single day. All right? And, and so just keep that in mind. And I'm just going to make this point. Um, I'm not up here to talk about haram and halal. Okay? Um, there's nothing necessarily haram about having every single thing you're following being a hijab tutorial and a makeup tutorial and a fashionista and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to talk about haram and halal. I just want to remind you about what matters most. That's all. That's all. It's just a reminder that what you focus on grows. When the only thing you're exposed to is how people are looking and dressing and fashion, then what happens is your mindset shifts. And that becomes your focal point. It becomes the most important thing to you. And that's not necessarily healthy. Because then that shifts your focus to... to um, and almost an obsession with the superficial. That's a, that's a problem. And that, I think that, that that's my biggest concern when it comes to this social media craze that we have right now. Is that just what's, what's happened is it's pushed us to be so focused on the surface. So focused on how we appear, how we look, right? If you aren't perfect, put a filter on it. Yeah, there's a filter for everything. And so it's like, but what it's done is it's pushed us towards this obsession with appearances. And that's concerning. Of course, that then leads to other types of psychological issues, right? You have the issues of eating disorders and you have the issues of body image, you know, uh, that, that, that you don't ever feel like you're good enough. But this is, this, this is affected by what we're exposed to. And we have some some sort of control over what we're exposed to on our phones, right? So just be mindful of what you're taking in. That, so that's, that's part of not sipping poison.